Not long ago, I did a review on the 22 Long Rifle versus the 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire or WMR for self defense. Now, it was very important to point out that the comparison was only based on pistols for that review. Now, the 22 WMR 22 Mag was not designed to be a pistol, uh, and you could see that in the review. It was very evident when we looked at the ballistics. Now, that got me thinking that I need to get a 22 mag rifle to review and then review it for potential self-defense gun. Now, I saw an ad for kel CMR30, and as far as self-defense, this really was, in my opinion, the perfect gun for this review. I mean, it is small. It's compact. You know, we have the ability... To extend out so we have a full rifle and it is a rifle we have a 16 inch barrel but then we also have it small and compact and because it's a rifle we get to put our vertical grip on it and anyway this is what i wanted to do the review on now before i get to that review let's just check out and do a review on the cmr 30 and see if it's even worthy of consideration for self-defense gun. You know, for that, we want solid reliability, function, accuracy, and performance. And I'm gonna say big emphasis on the reliability. You know, rimfire, a lot of people, it's kind of notorious, can have issues. How is this going to hold up? Let's just put the CMR30 to the test. I'm Drew Case, bringing the reviews directly here to Gun Dot Deals, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Real quick, guys, if you're not familiar with Gun Dot Deals, it's a website where you go and you can find some of the best gun-related deals, uh, prices available online and in retail stores all you do is type in what you're looking for and it's not just guns it's optics and accessories too it costs you absolutely nothing you just simply type it in and anything that has been entered will kick up it's awesome now gun dot deals does not repeat does not sell any firearm they simply find the best deals and hook you up to them it's genius i love it now, a lot of you are going to come to this review with an opinion on kel already. You know, many are fans, many are not. Let's just take the CMR30 as it is. Let's be objective, um, and as I say, it is what it is. Now, regardless of prior knowledge, it is an interesting gun, that is for sure. Take a look at the specs and tech before we get going. Okay, I want to do a really quick out of the box because I got an optic that I want to mount on this. All this stuff was actually stuffed in there. We've got our iron sights and the tool here for adjusting. We'll get those on. We've got our paperwork, the manual, okay, some stickers. Got two mags. Okay, so here we go. We've got non reciprocating charging handles on both sides. The upper is metal. The only part that's polymer is this lower part here. The telescoping stock, it's nice. The finger right here, and then it opens out and we've got all the different settings. Okay, we also have some loops for uh, sling attachment, safety, ambidextrous, both sides. The mag release is only on the left side. Mag eject is simply down here on the bottom like all their others. The breakdown, and we'll come back to that because I've got an optic that I want to review right away because I just keep finding it crazy stupid deals uh, prices and it's perfect for this. We're going to push that pin, but I'm going to come back to that. We've got a threaded muzzle. I want to get that optic on here and start having some fun. Guys, and if you do 
The 22 Win Mag, either in the pistol or the rifle, you've got to get one of these. It's <laughs> It's gonna save you a lot of time loading. Okay, so I'm in between testing some optics on this and I'm getting ready to put a scope on it so that we can test the accuracy. What I wanna do here is show you the breakdown. The takedown pin is gonna be on the right side. Hopefully we can just push that out. Yep, okay, that was not gonna come out with my thumb. It's still not gonna come out. So there's a the takedown pin. And then the polymer part here comes off. And we can clean this. We've got kind of a little buffer back here. Okay, we're gonna clean that up. And then our bolt is in here. Okay, so we're gonna take the stock back so that the bolt here slides out. Okay, and then you just have to sort of turn this and that comes out. And this is filthy. We've got over 250 rounds and quite a bit with a can. So I'm gonna get this good and cleaned up. Okay, gonna scrub out the barrel in here, and then we'll put it back together. And the stock comes all the way off. Now we have easy access to the breech for cleaning. Okay, so we got everything clean. Let's uh, start putting this back together. Okay, so when you put the stock back on, there's a little groove in there, you just gotta get that just right. There we go, so we gotta get both those grooves. And then this has got to fit back in here. Okay. Put this part back on. And our pin back in. Now, and we got to go from the other side. And there we go. Okay, we'll test everything. And there you go, guys. They're really is pretty simple. Yes, sir. It is interesting to say the least. You know, what really matters though? How does it perform? Well, time to find out. I just happened to have several optics that I needed to review and that just worked out perfectly. Let's take a look and see how it did with each of the optics. Okay, now typically when I'm zeroing in, I don't video. It's kind of long and it's boring, but I literally just simply put it on. I put the sights that came with it. Okay, those are the Magpul pop-ups. They're really nice. Um, it was interesting because when you have pop-up sights and they line up, the red dot was actually perfectly aligned with the front sight post and the red dot, and I just fired th three shots. You got to see this to believe it. I really wish that I had the video going, um, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. That was the first three shots, just simply putting it on the gun. You know, I expected to have to dial it in, but uh, yeah, there we go. I think let's just uh, let's do a click up and we might be able to jump to steel here really fast. I just wanna show you the field of view that I've got looking through here. This is the field of view that we're getting at 50 yards. Okay, so we had our initial group and I did two clicks up. <laughs> That's awesome. I think I'll do one click to the left 
and then we're just going to start banging on some steel. I might, uh, I'm going to bang on these when I take the optic off, or actually maybe I'll just turn it off and look through the optic, um, you know, like if our battery fails, and see what we get with the iron sights. So it did great with the right on. ARD. Let's try it with the uh, optic turned off and flipping up the Magpul iron sights that it comes with. Okay. Now because of my vision, that front sight post for me is totally blurry. Um, be interested to see what we got for groups. Okay, real quick, before I show you those what I did was is I adjusted the iron sights so that they lined up perfectly with the red dot since we got an outstanding group with the red dot. Also, before I forget, special thanks to CCI for supplying all the ammo for this review. Um, if you have not shot CCI when it comes to rimfire, in my experience, there is no better, no more reliable. Anyway, let's fire off some now that I made these adjustments. Hey, that was all right. We did pretty good. <laughs> all right. Well, so that was with the optic, which I forgot. I got to, still got to do a click to the left. Then that was my initial uh, with just the iron sights. And then what I did was is I moved the iron sights the best I could with a blurry front post so that the iron sights and the red dot were lined up. And that's what I just got. You know, I've, for me, with iron sights, that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to do that click, um, and then we're going to start having some real fun on some. Okay, so we're getting ready to have some fun with this. We've got this zeroed. I tried my can on it, and it kept the zero. I've got an A3 tactical vertical grip. Because this is a carbine, we have the 16-inch barrel. We can do this without an SBR. Guys, if you are looking for a vertical grip, in my opinion, this is hands down the best vertical grip you can get. It's going to be a little bit more coin, but it's all metal. This is the one that attaches to the Picatinny rail. They also have the M-lock, and you can swap out all of these. Check out the review on that anyway absolutely love this let's see what we can do at a hundred yards okay let's just see what we can do here at a hundred yards i took the can off because that's how most people are going to be shooting it and sometimes when that can heats up, like when you're really firing off a lot, it changes the zero. So let's just, uh, let's see how it goes. Let's jump over to two. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so next I had Primary Arms brand new RD25 to review that was just being released. Check out some of the shooting that we did with that. Now what I want to do, I'm going to pop that off to the side, and we'll try it with just the red dot. Okay, let's just... Nice. <laughs> uh, let's try 200. Let's move the magnifier out of the way. Nice. 
Nice, guys. Now, I have to be honest, guys. At this point, I am impressed. You know, it does have a really high fun factor. It, it, it is simply just fun to shoot and accurate. So for all practical purposes, it has zero recoil. Those that have health conditions or physical conditions where recoil is an issue, this is definitely worth looking at for you. Now, lastly, I wanted to show you what you could expect for accuracy using seven different types of you know, self-defense rounds for, that I'm going to use in another review. And in that review, I will show feet per second, you know, the foot pounds of energy and do some gel tests with these rounds and examine the 22 mag um, and the CMR 30 for self-defense gun. For this review, let's just see what we can get for groups with this over here at 50 yards using a proper scope. Okay, real quick, so this is the field of view that we're getting looking through the optic. So that's what I'm seeing to get those groups. Let's go take a closer look. All right, so there we go. You know what I've discovered is, is it, it definitely likes a warm barrel on almost every single one of these. The flyers, or at least the most extreme of flyer, was the first shot. And, you know, like here, they strung up and then they finished there. So as the barrel warms, they got more consistent. Um, this one, actually, I kind of, I had a phone call and the barrel cooled a little bit more. And so that really is more the group. But, you know, the, the hollow point that, that did really good for kind of our, you know, the cheapest and the range ammo, the VNT, that did really good. Okay, so, you know, the, the startup... Um, like I said, the flyers there for the, uh, the segmenting hollow point, the CCI, the TNT, I'm going to call that the winner. That was the first shot and then the rest of the group up there. But the last, you know, last of the shots was all in that one hole. I'm calling that the winner. Uh, the punch, same thing. You know, we had a couple flyers, <laughs> Overall, it grouped well, but, you know, had three flyers on that one. The spear, the gold dot, like I said, it strung up, and then, uh, you know, a decent group. And then the Hornady, the Hornady was actually kind of the, the biggest group. It seems to like the lighter bullets, so that's what, you know, would be my recommendation. You know, the VNT and the TNT, those are two of the best. That's awesome. I can't wait to see what... Some of these do in gel. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to shoot. Definitely want to try the TNT and the gel. But we're going to base it on energy and speed. Till next time on Gun Dot Deals, guys. Happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Come check me out under Beyond Seclusion uh, on YouTube to catch all my other stuff. Uh, remember, every time we're shooting, you're ambassador for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner. So thus far, I have put 300 plus rounds through it easy uh, without one single jam, failure to extract or failure to fire. I did have two failure to feeds, but they were related to the mag. You know, it was getting dirty. I had my can on it and they are polymer mags. Now, M Carbo just came out with some stainless steel mags and I'm going to bet, okay, I would be willing to bet you will not have any feed issues whatsoever with the stainless steel sides on that. That was the only two issues that I had with 300 plus rounds. So there you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. That helps support the channel. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And remember, every time that we're out on the range, every time we're shooting, everybody's watching us. That means that we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So please be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.